Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're not going to do any smelting, but I'm going to show you how to uh, get copper out of a, a half horse uh, electric motor. I believe this one came out of a, uh, a furnace. One of these days we'll get around to doing that great big one, but it's hot out, so we're just going to do this little, this little one. So uh, let's get to it. All right, first thing we're going to do is get the end caps off. And to do that, you just take out these four bolts this one's a quarter inch on one side and 11 30 second on the other little ones are pretty easy the big motors are a little more difficult sometimes make sure we got them all out yep now i'll be able to hit the shaft and knock this end cap out easy as that way. now we got the stator and this other end cap we get it the other end cap taken off that's cast aluminum. The other side, that's cast aluminum. Try we'll, one of these days we'll melt these down. Just put it underneath the bench with the rest of them. This will usually go in for uh, short iron if you want to save them up and sell them that way. Now we got the stator in here. So to get it out, we'll just take the grinder, cut along here, and uh, peel her back and it'll pop out. It's gonna be kind of noisy, so you might turn your volume down for this one. See, we got it all the way through there. Turn up on in. Oh, got a couple wires holding. Snip the wires off this plug. And then our case comes off. That'll just be ten. So now we got the copper wire, and it's all inside of here. So. What I do is I cut it off all the way around here on the side that's got all the wires going into it. It seems to come out, work out better that way for me.
there's that the crown's off of it or I call it the crown but uh, if you're just scrapping it for copper then you can most scrap yards will take it like this you don't have to do anything else with it but here on this channel we melt it all into bars or where we melt it into so we'll have to get all this stuff off and all this paper but so now we've got all this copper left in here to get that out I'm just gonna put this in the vise and I'll show you how we get that out of there all right everybody I got it in the vise and now we're gonna start pulling the wire out of it A lot of different ways you can do this. This is how I do it. It seems to work okay. Just takes a little time. The hardest part is getting it started, but once you get it started, Smaller motors got really small wire, so I just kind of wad them up over there. We're done. We'll weigh it up and see what we got. Sometimes it'll put up a pretty good fire on you. Get out of there the easier it'll be gets it out of the way and you can just kind of work it around in, in a circle here
plastic will come out with it. Just pull it right out. Another piece there. Sometimes you can grab it if you get one side out and grab the other end of it and pull it right out. Only smaller ones. The bigger ones, not so much. Alright guys, I'm going to pause the video right here and uh, I'll meet up at you when I get it, get it all in here. Alright everybody, I finished uh, pulling all the wire out of this stator here. Uh, it took me about 10 minutes off camera. I didn't want to bore you guys with all of it. So, uh, well, that's how I do it. So, uh, let's weigh it up and see what we ended up with. Before we weigh it up here, there's a, there's a half horse motor stator, stator that I just took apart. And that there's a five horse that I'm getting ready to do. So, uh, quite a bit of difference. Obviously, the more horsepower, the more copper you're going to get. But uh, let's weigh up what we did today and see what we got. All right, looks like we got two pounds and nine ounces. Not too bad for that little bitty motor. About 20 minutes of work. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, give us a like, a comment, and please subscribe. Catch you on the next one.